everyone! In this video I'm going to talk about Italian school. If you haven't seen my other videos, welcome! My name is Rodin, I'm 17 and since I'm a French girl in Italy, I'm talking about these two amazing countries. This video won't be a complete explanation of the Italian school system, I'm just going to talk about some funny things that I have noticed as an exchange student. If you want to live one day through my eyes, you can watch my latest video, the link is in the description. Also, I'm talking according to my experience in a public high school in Tuscany, so maybe it's really different in another high school, I don't know. First, school schedule. In France, we get out of school at about 5 pm or 6 pm, four days a week and at midday once a week. In Italy, they get out of school at about 1 p.m. 6 days a week. Yeah, you heard me good, 6 days a week. That means they go to school on Saturdays. What an amazing idea! Anyway, there is quite a big difference between 5 p.m. and 1 p.m. So at first I was like, I'm going to be free, I'm gonna do so many things. But then I realized they have homework to get done on the afternoon. And as an exchange student, I'm not really into homework, so I ended up being like... Boring. Second, the classroom. Let's start with the blackboards. A few years ago in France, they decided to change all the blackboards with whiteboards. However, it's not the case in Italy, so I'm just praying I won't be the one called to go to the blackboard to answer questions, because I just hate the chalk. about the classroom, in every classroom we can see that Italy is the nation of art. They are all descendants of Leonardo da Vinci, but they have more or less talent. <laughs> the desks are full of drawings, math exercises, I've even found some Chinese. Third, Italian students. There is a stereotype that Italians are loud people. Well, I can say it depends on the person, but one thing is certain. They don't know how to whisper. They just talk a little quieter, but you can still hear them from a mile away. Second thing about Italian students, I was really surprised when I discovered the very effective way they're facing a hard test or a lack of time to study. They just stay home. Allora ragazzi, domani alle ore 12 ci sarà una verifica finale di fisica, sarà il vocabolario della fisica. Quindi fai una verifica su tutti gli argomenti svolti nel corso dell'anno. this video with what I've enjoyed the most this year at school. Snacks. 
In my French school, there is only one vending machine. It's a bit expensive and then there's nothing special. But in my Italian school, there are vending machines in every corridor. And let me finish. There are sandwiches in the vending machine. And you can buy one of them for only 80 cents. 80 cents. As an example, this little pizza. Of course, it isn't as good as a real pizza, but it's still perfect if you're hungry. This video is over. It was the last one about the Ending in Italy project because I'm going back to France in a few days. If you're French, stay tuned because I'm going to make videos in French soon. I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to comment and to ask your questions. See ya! Yes, no.